Yo, yo. Is that you behind, you me? behind me? Yes. Yes. All right, cool. All right, All right follow, follow me. me. Sounds, Sounds good. good. I have a feeling I know where we're headed. We're looking for a spot. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide where I want to. It's a big decision. We're going over. All right, so I'm here with Earwig right now, and we are going into his studio, and we're gonna check out what he does on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's do it. Welcome yeah. to this old, old building. Yeah, Sweet. This is it. This is it. This is where the magic happens. It is. Earwig's been in the graffiti game for 26 years and has more public art in Portland than just about anybody. More than a graffiti artist, he's a full-time professional illustrator, muralist, and painter. If you want an Earwig original, get in line. Or just feast your eyes on one of his many public pieces as you cruise through the city. This is marbles. Hey, marbles. She's cool. Oh. Well, today it's like a mix of like laying these down. Uh, there's just a couple pieces. This one's for a friend of mine and another one's for a client. And this is another one for a client right here. It's like my day just consists of this and smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Those, yeah. Is there like a pretty but, big uh, commission list you have to get through? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like one one thing after the next and then yeah. this is like your typical what they refer to as the bible the graffiti writer bible uh -huh. the black book is where you figure out all your tricks from yeah you get your yeah. stuff down and you can go out and you don't even have to think yeah you need you need to keep the you know the flexibility you need to keep your, your mind in motion well where did you start when was your first like public piece um so it started out as like i think just any i saw a piece once oh, and it just blew my mind you? took a long time drawing like I said, I hit it because I didn't want to be made fun of it. Next thing you know, dude, I'm like attempting to go into these tunnels that are under the streets in my neighborhood in Arizona. And the worst stuff, oh, you know, absolutely the worst. But yeah, I mean, that was the beginning. How old were you? I was probably like 12, 13, actually, when can to wall. That's but good. I started figuring it out around 11, like the graffiti thing. Okay. I was like, oh, what is this? So that was like the first art that attracted me. Yeah, that's how I learned art, was through graffiti. This is what I do all the damn time. Do you get the same content. satisfaction doing digital art? Um, no. <laughs> this is like the worst sometimes. Like, there, it's a drawing for a, like a dispensary. This is some like random, yeah, just like fun stuff. These are exercises. That's cool. You do so many exercises. Yeah. It seems like you're always aware of um, trying to grow and not yeah. stay stuck. No, not at all. I mean, and you can use a lot of things as inspiration, you know what I mean? This is like the things that I'll be doing like later on my own time. It, it seems can, like it you never get tired of drawing though. Because um, even when you're doing stuff for work, you mess around for fun too. Yeah, I, like, well, it's like I work towards the fun, sure. you know, and it really, I do, I do get extremely burnt out sometimes. Like. Right now, just with graffiti, you know, like I'm like pretty like burnt out on just like huh. people, you know what I mean? And like the way things are and okay. like the carelessness to it. So and not the, the art itself, but like the, yeah, they're the almost, people that yeah. are around it. Because it's like ego, ego plays into it then and everyone's like, you know, the cool guy, you know what I mean? Or like yeah. the, the, whatever they like try and create like this, it's always like a persona and I think everyone does it to an extent. Sure. But with graffiti trending as it is, you know what I mean? Of course, like it's gonna change in a sense, and I'm okay with it. It is trending. Because that's, that's the thing that's good. You know, everything's gonna change eventually at some point. You can't, you cannot get escape it in any way, shape, or form. But this is a conversation I was having uh, recently with somebody. It's just the, the difference between doing something to show off versus yeah. just the fact that you like to do it yeah. because you like it. Yep. And so, like, I have, like, a sheer love for letters and graffiti, the, the culture of what it was of, like, we're doing something, whether you're saying something or not, you're doing something, you know, it's keeping you busy, it's, it's making you happy. Yeah. And sometimes that's fucking shit up, you know what I mean? But that, that, I think that comes with age, too, you know, and some people uh, don't go far enough in the, uh, like, letter game or aren't talented or skilled enough to actually lay down letters or do a burner which is, you know, like a dope piece or... Burner is like 
when you cover somebody and you're objectively better at that. Yeah, so like, uh, yeah. So they can't uh, even argue. They're like, yeah. Well, like that's like that's like burning somebody. You okay. know what I mean? Like a burner would be like a big, dope, like semi wild piece, like something that almost is like intimidating. It was just took work, you yeah. know, and has yeah. has a skill set to it. it, and it's all just almost based off like intuition like instant like when we go and do these at night it's like you want to be in and out you want to have just like a general idea and that's what the drawing yeah. so much does for you is you You're know like practicing so you can be spontaneous in the moment yep yep it's almost that's like freestyle it's like, like a freestyle rap or... yeah like a rapper you know yeah, what i mean yeah, like how they like, like the rapper. old like battle rap i feel like i still got a lot to learn and a long ways to go but i didn't get to where i got by being um like okay with stopping there yeah now i go through you seem phases. like you really push yourself yeah and i got really stagnant in the last like five years as far as what i was producing on the street because it was just yeah. like been like establishing one thing one you're style. going through the routines a little bit yep and so and that's why i was saying you know once you get burnt mm -hmm. that kind of leads you to be like okay well i'm unhappy with this now what do we need to change okay so you just start doing new things yeah you just, and you don't worry if it's bad or not no you no you just kind of like play yeah and see where it goes you know because I'll just start throwing these down. Like some of these personally, I don't like chunks of them. You know what I mean? But yeah. they'll turn into something and they're good base shapes. You start with like, you can actually tell what it is and then yeah. you add on little Dissect it, of yeah. It. You know, and you can do it wrong. You can go wrong. That's why you'll make a lot of mistakes doing some things. But that's, that's how you. That seems important. Is that you always allow yourself to do it wrong? You'll find the good ones through all those mistakes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything. You've been doing this for a couple decades at this point. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is like 26 years now. Shit. So you've seen like a huge change in graffiti culture. Yeah, a uh, big change. It's, it's pretty mainstream at this point, but it probably wasn't when you started. No, when I started it was like, don't tell nobody. I didn't really care about getting up. I mean, it was about like doing your thing. And you were like doing it, like trying to practice your hands and practice your steps. You know what I mean? That's what we're talking about. You know, your yeah. tags, your throw ups, your... Most people don't care about some of those. Some people don't even have throw ups and I don't hate on any of that shit. Well, tell me the difference a little bit because I, I don't know the terms that well. What's the difference so, between tag and throw up? So the tag is like the initial signature. Burner is like the biggest bad. It's like thing the math, yeah, it's like a piece, like a masterpiece kind sure. of, you know what I mean? And yeah. so it goes from like the tag, you know, to the throws, to the straight letters, to, you, know, you can start getting like a little funky. Yeah, it it's, seems like the thing you're frustrated about and let me know if i'm wrong mm -hmm. is that there's more people that are not doing it just for like the expression of it yeah uh, yeah they're just not doing it for that they don't have like it was like break dancing or like rap rap battles and stuff like that it was like how hard could you kill it and like yeah. you could you could battle people you know what i mean that was the cool thing like people would actually like battle and do things like that where they'd be like see who's better yeah or see who could kill the city that's why i was comparing it to maybe yeah. like kung fu or something yep. in a way because everyone's um playing by the same set of rules in a way yeah so it's like a it's like an honor skill system. that you can master yeah. yeah yeah there's an honor system to it and uh there's code there's everything and like that's the important part is that it's just now so let me show you look at me yeah. um and the pandemic produced a ton of writers you know which we as me and some of the people I'm around we refer to it as the, you know the, the pandemic writers <laughs> everything just went crazy well, that's kind of cool right because yeah. you love graffiti you like kind of I, I love it i love it in that sense but then when you're like these kids don't care about some of the old pieces or some of the old, like they just yeah. don't know some of the stuff and they haven't even took time to sit and get good or put pay dues in a certain way. And they're um, unaware of like the dues and They're burning spots, writing on everything that they shouldn't. There's a lot like, to learn. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's like writing, a, it's about writing on the right things, not everything, and knowing how to do what you do properly. If your piece isn't as good as all the pieces on the wall, yours is what I'm gonna go over. And that's not with any disrespect, that's just yeah. like the, the law. You just kind of have to do that at yeah. a certain point. You have to take a spot on the wall, yep. and, and it's not gonna cover the best one. And it should, push the person that got covered to like come harder next time so that their piece doesn't get put over or they're like in like when someone thinks about going over they're like questioning you know that um, probably happened to you a lot when you were younger to push you oh yeah like people just like go right over you and because some people would be flexing so hard your piece would look like shit next to either the next one uh-huh so you'd want to keep it up to date keep yeah. coming hard it's like a it's like a a karate dojo you're gonna get a KO'd if you don't yeah. uh, up your skills. 100%, yep, done. You're off the map. All right, let's get out of here. Let's do it.
You seem very like, and this is a common thing with the other artists I've interviewed, is it's very like meditational, very mindful. What yeah, I mean it's therapeutic. It's been therapeutic since I was a kid. It's like the only thing that like really I get anything out of. So you're just trying to get as much of it in as you can. Mm -hmm. So they like remember all that while you're laying in the hospital or laying in a bed. You know what I mean? Like your dying thoughts would be like, oh yeah, that's cool. Uh -huh. Had a good time. It's just like, yeah, it's also like just that experience. Because if you think about life like a videotape, you know what I mean? You can cut mm -hmm. it short. You probably wanted to watch the rest of the movie at some point. You know what I mean? But you'll regret it once you like turned it off and shit. You're sure. like, man, I should have stayed. Yeah. Should've chilled. I appreciate you guys actually going on that with me because it's a big part of who I am. And it's like pretty much my whole life. Yeah, so you, you're just trying to live in the moment and yeah. live in your favorite activity basically, mm -hmm. which is... All the this, time. All yeah. the time. All the time.